Hi, good evening. This evening, I want to talk to, to you all about um, our spiritual path, what it means and um, where it's headed. Basically, whether you believe it or not, we're all on a spiritual path. And it's simply leading to love. You can, you can be religious, atheist, spiritual. You can choose anything to believe in. But ultimately, every single one of those different things are leading us all in the direction of love towards our higher self. We stray off the path all the time. But nothing's a mistake, everything is a lesson. We're supported and guided constantly and it's up to us whether we choose to listen or not. Once we start to understand that we are being sent signs, information and messages to help us along this extremely difficult path, it can become a little bit easier to navigate. I won't say that it's easy because it really isn't, but if you start to listen and become aware, it is easier. We're sent messages through our bodies, through our health, through aches and pains. Our body speaks to us. Our body guides us. If we have issues with our back, if we're bending over, if we've got back pain, if we have shoulder pain, all these apps actually represent an inability to stand up for ourselves. Shoulder pain is that we're taking on too much. We're, we're, we've got too much weight on our shoulders. Um, anything with the legs, it's, it's about our direction in life. Um, if our hips, if we've got pain in our hips, it's because we're not actually walking in the right direction towards love. We maybe need something, we need to correct something in our lives. Knee pain is all about ego and pride. Um, maybe we're stuck where we, we don't want to bend and we don't actually want to look in and see what is going on in our lives and um, we just carry on regardless. And knee pain, I used to suffer massively with knee pain to the point where I was almost going to have to have knee hole, keyhole, knee hole, keyhole surgery and I did something very di different in my life. I changed my path. And since then, I have not suffered with, me with, with knee pain at all. I never had to have the surgery. Um, it's extremely interesting if you start to take notice. There's books that you can read. One that I read, which I found extremely helpful, was You Can Heal Your Life, Louise Hay. Um, I found this book in a skip, and it, it's... It's one that I can I can constantly refer back to, and if any of you ha are suffering with any pains or illnesses or anything, and would like me to just write from this book what they say about it, then send me a message privately if you want to keep it private, or or write in the comments if you're happy for it to be public, because it, it always helps other people if. Um, you know some people are shy to come forward so yeah if, if you've got anything that you'd like to know I will do my best to look through the book and respond to you guys there's another book by Louise Hay as well the power is within you and this is all about how you can heal your life the same as the other book it's about how we deserve love and it's uh, it helps us walk along that path to towards love and um, I highly recommend those those two books so yeah, our body is speaking to us all the time. If you get a sudden pain, don't just go, oh my God, that was, that's because of, I've been playing golf or that's because I was playing tennis, right? Look a bit deeper 
okay because there's always going to be an underlying emotional reason there's always going to be a, a, a reason why your body is speaking to you you could play tennis for 10 years and never get that pain okay now suddenly if you're getting your pain from playing tennis have a think about it what's going in your on in on in your life okay because your body is trying to speak to you it speaks to you if you get a sore throat or a cold, it means that you're not speaking up, you're not speaking your truth. Maybe you're telling lies, maybe you're too scared to, to actually say how you feel. And so spirit will will talk, will, will, will have your body speak to you by giving you illnesses around your throat. Um, so many, I could, I could go on and on and on, but I'm not going to. Um, we're all very familiar of, with feathers and coins we cro that cross our path. And I think most of us, if we see a feather, we're like, we know who that is. It's like, oh, well, that's my Nana. She's just saying hi from, you know, from the spirit world. Um, but look, look again. When you see things, when you repeatedly see things on your path, have a think have a think what they might mean to you even look them up there are loads of books about signs there's one called signposts and um, that was quite a funny story for me two years ago i kept seeing this massive massive signpost literally it was this big and this is at the beginning of my awareness of my spiritual journey and i remember going and and sitting on the boat with my partner and saying i keep seeing this but i can't work out what on earth it, it means, what does it represent, I know it's trying to speak to me. And she just said, ah, oh, there's a book called Signposts, Signpost, and it's all about all the different signs that Spirit sends to us to, to give us messages and things. So of course, I bought the book, and yeah, it, it, um, the story just evolved from there. So yeah, if, you, if you're interested, have a look at that book as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's sitting right behind me, so I can't. I'll look up the author for you later. I think it's over the other side of the room. So, yeah, my dad leaves things. He, he's ever since my trip to Scotland, which some of you know about, some of you don't, where I had a smashed up wing mirror on my camper van and found um, a big cable tie on the beach, which sorted me out. Thanks, dad. Ever since then, he sends me cable cable ties and, he, and 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 they'll be if i'm heading in the right direction they will be heading in the right direction they're like yes sharon you're doing the right thing if i've come to a crossroads i'll see two cable ties tied together like that um all sorts of things they'll be at you know they'll be cross paths and always sending me messages with with cable ties and and um nuts and bolts and washers and screws you can imagine yeah screw you yeah i've had quite a lot of those um when i've had to leave people behind in my life um so yeah there are always signs there's always guidance and once you start looking numbers synchronicity angel numbers um i I look at um, a specific site for my angel numbers. I think it's called Sacred, Sc Sacred Scribe. Again, I'll post a link to that once I've um, posted this video. It, literally, the numbers, if you keep seeing repeated numbers, you know, 11s, 22s, or for me, I saw so many 7s, 17s, 67s, um, and 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 they they've been huge part of of my progress over the last two years of being becoming aware of myself and my own spiritual path. So yeah, it, it can be all really fun and exciting, but the most important thing is to understand that when you're in a really dark place, because we can't really avoid them, they it happens. Life isn't all butterflies and sunshine we we do have dark places but that is where we do most of our growth that is where we learn most of our lessons is in our dark places and um it's really important when you're in those places you will be sent signs and and it's really important to have faith and trust that everything is happening for your highest good okay and 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 if you're in any doubt in any doubt at all the best thing to do is actually take some time i love to go walk on the seawall you guys all know that take some time on your own unplug your headphones and 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 go either sit 
in silence. It depends what you like, yeah? Some people like to do yoga. Some people like to sit in silence and meditate. I love walking meditation. I love to go walk on my own on the seawall and I will speak out loud to spirit and I get responses and I get answers. And, 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 and yeah, let your emotions come out. Let, let everything come out so that you can heal yourself. It's so important that we have to heal all our past wounds We've, we, we've accumulated so many since we were children, all through our lives. And, and generally, we, we've lived, we live in a society where most of our stuff, we just keep it to ourselves. We bottle it all up and consequently it ends up. We, we're just completely full of, of spiritual wounds, which will then manifest as actual physical wounds. So yeah, let your emotions come out and speak out loud to spirit and, 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 and have conversations with, with the people that you've lost and, and you'll soon start to see that they are talking to you. Um, another way spirit talks to us as well is with, um, I mean, my car. A couple of years ago, I had so many flat tires. I think I had like four flat tires in, the, in about four months. And again, it was like, slow down, Sharon. You know, you 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 really need to take note of of what you're doing, and you're, you're going the wrong way. Slow down, check everything. It, it, all these things, like if you if you if you're in a little a little car accident as well, you know, or if your washing machine breaks down or your boiler, all these things mean something. You can you can think I'm crazy. It doesn't matter to me if you think I'm crazy. I know what I believe, and if, if you really, truly want to, uh, to become aware of yourself and follow your spiritual path to find your best life, then, you know, have a look, see, have a look, see for yourself. Listen, it's not just me. There's so many people out, 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 out here now, spiritual, spiritual people that are actually very openly talking about the signs and the messages they get very openly talking about their path and I am very happy to do that now. I, I'm not at all ashamed. I, am, I don't care how many people laugh at me because ultimately I, I'm in a very secure place. These, these past two and a half years have, have, have been the, the most amazing two and a half years for me i have grown beyond belief for myself my life has changed dramatically and yeah i'm becoming the the person that i was always supposed to be and i'm very proud of myself for that for that achievement so yeah don't let anyone make fun of you and if they do just leave just avoid them you know just come and and and, and be with people who share your beliefs who share your 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 way your you know who 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 are very open and want to want to want to do this together there's so many so many of us out here now so if you feel like that i'm i'm running a couple of six week courses monday evening and a wednesday morning they start in uh, one on the, the 11th of november the monday night and the 6th of november the, the wednesday morning so if anyone wants to sign up for those send me a message I've already got quite a few people, but I've, you know, there's space. So what else can I say? A spiritual awakening is the most beautiful thing. It is the most difficult thing because ultimately you're having to face your own darkness. You're having to look in and become very aware and conscious of, of, of your thoughts, of your words and your own behavior and you learn to take responsibility. You understand that nothing that you think, say or do is anybody else's problem. It's only yours. You're the only one who has control over yourself. Nobody else. Nobody is to blame for anything I think, say or do. And no one, no one is going to determine my life. I determine my own life and that is the same for every single one of us. We create our own life, okay? No one else has any power over us unless we allow it. And that's actually a whole other story. So, 
signs, messages, signs, they're called cleddens, that's such a lovely word, isn't it? All the signs, they're called cleddens, they actually have a name, and um, yeah, just, just be aware, open your eyes, don't walk around with your eyes shut, don't be a sheep, open your eyes, and, and start following this path, because it is amazing, it's awesome. Um, and so yeah, if any of you want to come along to my meetings, as I said, drop me a message, any of you want to know what any of your signs mean, your dreams, any of your physical ailments, ailments, sorry, um, anything that you that you've had happening to you that you think you're if you're sitting there thinking, oh yeah, this has been happening to me and it's really weird. It's not weird, okay? Drop me a message if you don't understand it, and we'll see if we can work it out together, okay? Take care. Oh wait, before you go. I want to do a card. Since we've been talking about signs and messages, let's see if we can have a message this evening from Spirit. Of course, this is this is a very easy way for us all to get messages. Spirit finds it extremely easy to talk to us through the cards. And um, if you uh, if you if you if you're not if you're struggling to interpret your signs or you're struggling to see the signs. Get yourself a deck of cards and, and ask your questions and don't expect yes or no answers, okay? And sometimes the cards, the answers are actually really puzzling, but the puzzling ones are generally the ones that you really need to take more notice of. It's Again, it's very easy to have a card that tells you that everything's all lovely and, and happy, but one of the, the difficult messages are the ones which um, are... are um, usually really important so here we've got card number 18 ruminate right I've not had this card before ruminate take note of how you take on the energy around you do you tend to immerse yourself in unconstructive energy are you taking responsibility for a situation that really has nothing to do with you do you hold yourself in reproach for circumstances you have no control over? This might include feeling somehow responsible for inclement weather or someone else's bad mood. It makes no sense, yet you feel you played a role in it. Are you spending an unwarranted amount of time thinking about other people's situations? Self-examination is one way of identifying whether you are engaged in negative thinking. Negative thinking can manifest in harmful self-talk or viewing yourself disapprovingly. You may do this without being aware of it. It can be done through self-deprecating humour that invites others to laugh at your expense. You may put others above you. You might give a place, an opportunity or something you rightfully earned to someone else. You may apologise constantly, which lowers your energy. It may seem that you are ashamed of your presence in certain situations. You might be addicted to negative situations or participate in gossip. Be honest as you reflect on where you may be taking on negative energy. Decide to make changes for the better. A flautist plays as her thoughts encircle her. This card depicts the thoughts and situations that are crowding your psyche. The people reflect the drama you have allowed yourself to become absorbed in. The green above and behind the flautist's head denotes an ability to heal your thoughts. The birds, stars and flowers portray growth, healing, love, blessings and connection to self. If you find you are overthinking something, find a distraction to help you move forward. Music is a wonderful way to quieten your mind. So there you go. There's our message for this evening. And I'm going to take note of that. I've got the, um, the, the hand pan CD playing in the background. And I'm going to go turn it up now. So um, enjoy your evening. Look out for the signs and message me. Comment below if you'd like any interpretation. Signs or any aches and pains in your body, etc. Take care.